Hey guys, hope you had a great summer and you're enjoying fall. The Saskatoon real estate market continues to be hot with many homes still receiving multiple offers and being sold at or above the list price. However, with fall being here, there is an ever so slight relaxation in the market compared to spring or summer earlier this year. In this market report, I'll highlight what's going on with condo, townhouse, and detached activity and prices. Talk about the last three to six months and how fall is a little bit different than what we've had earlier this year. And then also give my predictions on how I feel the market's gonna be throughout this year and into early 2025. Presently, our sales to list ratio on the year is right at about 70% which means that seven out of every 10 houses that get listed end up selling. And for the month of September, 38% of all sales were at or above their listed price. And while those numbers are extremely high and it's still a heavy seller's market, in the middle of the year, the heat of summer, our sales listing ratio was about 73% and nearly 50% of all sales were sold at or above the list price. The average sale price presently in Saskatoon for condo, townhouse, duplex, detached, all property types is $397,000, which is up $22,000 from 375 that what we started the year with. The month of August actually seen the average sale price on the month for the first time this year be lower than the average sale price on the year, but then September made it bounce back with an average sale price of $409,000 for the month of September, which rose our average sale price from the $395,000 to the $397,000 that I had just spoken about. And while the sales to listing ratio was down a little bit and the homes you know, selling at or above the list price percentage wise was down as we moved into fall, the amount of sales we actually had this past September was quite remarkable. With 432 sales this past September, that's more than 2023 and 2022, which saw 378 sales and 328 sales respectively. And by the end of September, the sales in Saskatoon are up 6% in comparison to last year. And for the first time, our listing count is up 0.52% at the end of September compared to the same time last year. Sales have pretty much been up compared to 2023 every single month throughout this entire year, which is what's driving the list or the sold prices, you know, being up $22,000 at this point on, uh, on the year compared to last. Sales have pretty much been up every single month all year compared to last, but now for the first time our listing count has caught up and I think that's why our at or above list price sales is slowing just a little bit compared to earlier this year. And then the theme is low inventory, low listing counts, high buyer demand, and none of that's changed. For our detached month supply or absorption rate, there's a 1.7 supply of overall inventory on the detached side of things and 1.3 month supply on the condo or townhouse side of things, which is extremely low. You would love those numbers to be three or so, and that would essentially mean that at the start of a month, there could be 60 active listings in a particular price range, but only 20 sales in the month before, which would leave plenty of supply and choice for buyers. And while those numbers are pretty low, it gets quite a bit worse depending on the price range you're shopping in. So for the detached supply, if you're buying a detached home in Saskatoon, between $350,000 and $450,000, which is a price range that a lot of people fall onto, the month supply is 0.78, so less than one. The overall, month or the overall supply for the detached homes was 1.7 when you look at all the price ranges. But from three hundred fifty dollars to $450,000, it's 0 0.78. So extremely competitive still in that price range. And for condos or townhouses, 
Across the city, 1.3 on all price ranges, but from 250 dollars to $350,000, it's 0.85. So again, extremely competitive in that $100,000 block in the condo townhouse, just like the detached home. In summary, the market hasn't changed a whole lot this fall in comparison to spring and summer. If you've been shopping for a while, you'll probably notice a slight relaxation in the, depending on the price range you're shopping in, and honestly, the day of the week that the property is listed. But if you're getting into the market for the first time ever as a buyer right now, you'll still notice extreme competition. If you're thinking of selling, now is still a fantastic time to sell, even though it's fall and we're gonna be heading into winter. And if you're thinking about buying, reach out to me and we can discuss a few strategies I have to get your offer accepted over the rest. And sometimes it doesn't even come down to the highest price. Now I'm a bit of a numbers nerd, but I won't go into any more detail for this video. If you've got any questions, you want to know, you know, more detail on certain price ranges, neighborhoods, how things break down, feel free to reach out, shoot me a text, give me a call or send me an email. And I'd love to discuss things further with you. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.